Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, Taurus, it's Dana. What's happening? What's going on? How's it rolling, Taurus? Hope the week treated you well. Let's do a little reading. Maybe get us through the next seven days or so. Um, I did a very specific love reading a couple of days ago. And I did another reading, an extended reading, for that video that you can watch if you click on the link in the description box. Let's see what these cards have to say today going to be just as much a surprise to me as it is to you. I am a Taurus. I'm a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, but a Taurus sun. So let's see what these cards have to say. If you're new to the channel, come on in. Snuggle up to this table right here, and let's talk about some things. If you're coming back to the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is for you, about you, and wouldn't be without you. Everybody subscribe because it just makes me happy and it keeps me motivated to do to do this to just keep on trucking with YouTube. There's a super thanks button that y'all can smash anytime that you want to. If you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to tell you all about my book, The Ultimate Step-by-Step -step Guide to Your Spiritual Awakening. And last but not least, I am going to reinstitute the membership page for this channel. Did it a while back. You know, it didn't really work out so well because I don't like pressure, obligation, and expectations. Um, I'm not real good at that. Maybe that's my wounded child. But I don't like expectations, obligation, and pressure. However, this time... It's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to go inside the box cookie cutter YouTube BS. I'm going to do it my way, the way that I want to do it. And y'all are going to get all kinds of cool things if you want to become a member of this channel. Most importantly, there's going to be a personal space um, where you and I and us as a collective can just hang out. Live chats and stuff. Um, I'll, send, I'll send stuff, just stuff that I think is cool. I'll send out to everybody. Um, memes, podcasts, book recommendations cool things, videos of uh, my horse and my personal life and the things that I do outside of YouTube. And it's just going to be a nice space to share. You guys will also get all of the readings that I put on YouTube a day early. And sometimes you will get extra special tarot card readings, but I am not committing to that, nor am I going to be held obligated to that. But when, when, when I feel compelled, I will do special readings just for the membership channel. There's a whole bunch of other little things. You can check it out by clicking the membership link. I think it's in the description box. I'm not real sure how all this works. But anyway, if you want to become a member of this channel, come on in and let's start a small little community where we all can be a little bit more intimate with one another. All right, all the business aside, let's get straight into this reading. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards, thoroughly going to confuse you for a good solid minute, and I'm going to sew together a story. Let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me here, Spirit, and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Taurus and what do they need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Most importantly, Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest good? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Please tell me where the stopping point is for this particular Taurus. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Spirit, what does Taurus need to know? Wisdom, guidance, acceptance, understanding. Spirit, what? It's right there. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three. One, 
two and three. Bottom of the deck, the Three of Cups. Nice. Two of Pentacles in reverse, the High Priestess. Two of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. We'll stop with the Three of Wands. That makes hella sense to me right now. It's going to make hella sense to you at the end of this reading. First card out the box is the Two of Cups in reverse. To the Ten of Pentacles. Fantastic. Death in reverse, some kind of transformation. Six of Wands, success. Look at that. And the Fool, brand new beginning, brand new journey. Strength in reverse, something to overcome. Three of Swords, grief and sorrow and pain in the mind. The Hierophant in reverse, in the center of the reading. We'll see what that's about. To the Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions. The King of Wands in reverse, flesh based. The world in reverse, repeated cycle, the six of swords in reverse, mental baggage, the ace of swords seeing something clearly, and the nine of wands to the nine of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Ooh, the tower to the ten of wands in reverse, the hangman, and the star in reverse. The six of cups, the ace of wands in reverse, the three of pentacles in reverse, and the queen of wands to the devil in reverse, the empress in reverse, the emperor in reverse, and the prince of cups. All right, we'll stop with that prince of cups. Let's make some sense out of all of this. Let's see what the heck is going on here. All right, Taurus. All right, all right, all right. This is what's happening for you guys, okay? This is what is going on right here. So this particular Taurus starts out with the Two of Cups in reverse, okay? The Two of Cups in reverse to the Ten of Pentacles to Death in reverse, the Six of Wands, the Fool, okay? So this particular Taurus has some kind of unviable relationship lingering in their life. It could be a romantic partner. It could be a work situation. It could be a friend. It could be anything to anybody because the only way to know your true story is to have your own cards read, period. Y'all be filling your mind with all kinds of crazy talk with all of these YouTube readers who are all in the upright and they all want rainbows and unicorns and they all tell you that someone is great and it's awesome and they tell you what you want to hear and it is a gigantic mind fuck. Stop binge watching YouTube tarot. Okay? There is an unviable relationship in your life. Period. However that fits for you, it's unviable. It's preventing you from achieving this, the success that you are destined to achieve in your life. This unviable relationship, Knight of Wands in reverse, sucks all of your energy. You are depositing your energetic life force into this relationship and it is consuming the energetic life force that you should be focusing on your prosperity and your success. It's wearing you out. It's a, it's a struggle. This relationship is a struggle. Huge, gigantic, overwhelming struggle. Adawan says something needs to change. You need to change, Taurus. Your trajectory needs to change. How you invest the energy, your life force needs to change. To the devil in reverse. You need to release your limiting beliefs. Detach yourself from the your own pocket of toxicity that keeps you investing repeatedly in this relationship. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is your success, the foundation, the achievement, money um, in your life. It's, it's what you're trying to build. You're trying to build some kind of security and bank account and sense of well-being in your life. And for some reason, you think you can build it with or around this person. Ace of Wands in reverse comes on top of this and says you can't. 
This situation sucks the life force out of you, Taurus. And you can't build what it is that you need to build while you are pandering to this relationship. Nine of Wands comes on top of it and says, fight the good fight. Fight the good fight. Push forward. Resilience, persistence. What? Page of Pentacles. To do something different. Do something different. Because what it is that you're trying to succeed at in your life is not happening. If you're trying to succeed at a job, perhaps you have someone in the background at home giving you all kinds of grief about it. Perhaps if you're trying to succeed in a relationship, um, the other person on the other side of this reading is nothing but a downer. Nothing but a Debbie Downer. Death in Reverse talks about some serious internal purging so you can have a serious internal transformation. Six of Wands, so you can overcome this battle and have achieve the kind of success that you're trying to achieve in your life. If you're trying to make this relationship successful, these cards are saying it's time to ditch this relationship and go in a different direction so you can have a successful relationship. Ten of Swords in reverse, right? Release the mindset, renew the mindset of betrayal, deception, and deceit. Because this particular Taurus seems to think that if they leave this person, place, or thing in pursuit of their own, own personal growth and success that they would be reneging or betraying some kind of commitment that they have made to this situation. Ace of Pentacles in reverse says your seeds can't grow here. Seeds can't grow here. The ground is sour and you keep planting seeds and planting seeds and planting seeds and nothing ever sprouts for you in this relationship because the ground is sour. And the six of wands, six of wands, six of wands comes on top of it and says victory, progress, success, overcome the battle, leave the battle behind you, release your limiting beliefs, do something different, start someplace else to the fool because there is a brand new journey a brand new beginning ahead of you. You don't quite see the whole picture. You don't quite understand it, but there is. There's no itinerary. You don't, you're don't. you not going to know the who, what, where, when, why, and how, but it's time for a leveling up of your spirituality. It's time to level up and understand that this situation for whoever this is for is literally draining their life success from them to the wheel of fortune, new beginning, new journey, a leveling up of your spirituality, orchestrating your frequency to match the frequency of universal order. So there can be a massive turning point in your life. You are poised to be extremely successful, Taurus, extremely successful in whatever it is that you are pursuing in your life or want to pursue in your life. But there is a relationship that is weights around your ankles. Eight of swords in reverse. And you need to have a new perspective. Your mind is immobilized in some kind of fear. Fear that doing what it is that you feel that you feel is right for your life is deceiving the situation or the person somehow. And the major arcana in this reading says, absolutely not. You need to let go of this situation. You need to do some internal purging. There's a new beginning, a new journey, and your destiny is right around the corner. Your destiny is a great deal of success with the six of wands, a great deal of success with the 10 of pentacles. But you must overcome the battle in order to have this success. What's the battle? 
Well, detaching from the own, your own toxic spot that says that you have to continue with this relationship, with this person, place, or thing, because you have some kind of commitment that you do not want to betray. Strength in reverse. Strength in reverse is about a weakness. In the upright, it's about having the courage to overcome. In the reverse, it's about someone who doesn't have the courage to overcome. And that is the weakness. The weakness in your personal constitution here is that you are refusing to understand, receive, or believe that the person, place, or thing that you are so intently focused on is not part of your path, it's not part of your purpose, and it's definitely not in your best interest. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. This weakness, this, this inability to overcome or see the forest through the trees in this situation right here keeps you off kilter. It keeps your finances off kilter. It keeps your whole sense of well-being off kilter. It's imbalanced. The Three of Pentacles in reverse, lack of teamwork and collaboration. Whatever this is, it interferes in your ability to do your job, maybe. Um, interferes in your ability to point your energetic force in the direction of building your life. It is some kind of hard stop. It's, there is no teamwork and collaboration. Whatever this is for you, y'all are not on the same page. You're not going in the same direction. And it is interference in your life. To the high priestess. High priestess says, we're trying to tell you. You know this in your guts. You do. Whoever this is for, they know that this relationship, person, place, or thing is a whip. It's a whip. It, it, it constantly takes so much effort to keep this situation under control that this particular Taurus can't focus on their future, on their success. They can't build their business. They can't. They can't. And the high priestess says, why? Why are you not listening? We are trying to point you towards your true north. And in your deep subconscious mind, you know that this is not viable. But because of some kind of commitment, obligation to it, you just keep doing it. And the hermit in reverse. Hermit in reverse is about withdrawn, withdrawn from deep soul searching and introspection. That's why the, the high priestess is there. They're like, hey, psst, 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 Taurus, you're not listening. You're not paying attention. You're not following your ancient higher self that is dwelling within your subconscious mind right now. You're not paying attention. You're filled. Your life is filled with grief and sorrow and pain. This whole situation causes you at the knot, at the root of your, your, your core. It causes a knot to the king of swords. You got to see it for what it is. Got to call a spade a spade. You got to see it for what it is. I call bullshit. Bullshit. I call bullshit. The king of swords is making serious, serious, logical, responsible decisions about your life. To the three of swords in reverse. And you coming to terms with the truth of this situation will clear the grief and the sorrow and the pain from your mind so you can focus on what is important to be focusing on in your life instead of wasting your whole life force on something that is not part of your path, it's not part of your purpose, and it is detrimental to your future. Hair fit in reverse in the center of the reading. Cutting loose of ties, commitments, obligations, letting this whole situation go. Eight of Cups in reverse, just like that high priestess, just like the hermit in reverse. The Eight of Cups in the upright is someone who understands that the situation is never going to get any better. 
In the reverse, it's someone who knows that, but they, they don't leave. They know they need to leave, but they don't leave. To the Hierophant in the upright and the world. You must, whomever this is for, you must take a, an inventory of your core root belief system with that Hierophant in reverse and ask yourself why you are staying in this situation out of obligation or commitment. Why are you doing that? Because you know what? Sometimes we commit to things in our simplistic human understanding that are never supposed to be a part of our life in the first place. We get out there and we think that we know the way and we want to be with this person or this job or this situation and we commit to it. But you know what? It was never supposed to be a part of our path anyway. And I'm telling you right now, this whole situation that you're in right here, whatever it is, it is you that is choosing this over your own self, over your own success, over your destiny and your life. You are choosing to allow this to stand in your way. And that's the core belief system that needs some attention because you know you need to leave this. The high priestess in the hermit in reverse reiterates that. You know that you need to leave this behind, but you're not. And guess who's accountable for that? You. The Hierophant to the world. This situation needs to come to an end so you can enter into your path, your purpose, and your destiny. The Hierophant is the commitment, a new commitment to the world, the end of an old cycle, the beginning of a new cycle, the new phase of your life. The new phase of your life needs to be focused on the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune. That's the new phase of your life. The new phase of your life is a massive turning point in your life, a new direction filled with success and possibly material rewards. Mm -hmm. That's the new phase of your life. That's what they need you to be committed to with the Hierophant in the upright. They need you to discern the spiritual aspect of your life that you are ignoring because the flesh aspect of your life is hung up on something that is not in your best and highest good. Look, the seven of cups, right? Options, choices, decisions. What do I do? What do I do? I don't have any options. I don't have any choices. I don't have any anything to do. Well, I don't. The, my whole everything is wrapped up in this relationship. No, 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 no. That's an attachment. That's a restriction to your growth. You're actually chained to the foot of the devil in this situation. You are. It's toxic. Whatever this is is toxic to your life. And the other side, the yin to the yang, the opposing forces on the other side of all of this spirituality do not want you to see what you're doing because if you actually paid attention to your higher self, your ancient soul, it's going to lead you in a different direction. It's going to lead you towards your true north. And if that happens, you stop serving the system. And if you stop serving the system, they lose some of their power. They want you to stay right where you are. And this person, place, or thing that you are attached to is being used as a pawn to keep you subservient to the seven of wands in reverse. Seven of wands in reverse is about not dealing with something. The guy in the upright is backing up from something. The guy in the reverse is absolutely not dealing with it. And you're not seeing the forest through the trees. You're not understanding how toxic this situation is to your whole life. Nine of swords. It brings you anxiety and despair. Whatever this is, whatever this is for you, nothing should be this difficult. Nothing should be this difficult. If it's difficult like this, it's not right. Anything that is difficult, that brings anxiety and despair and sucks the life out of you to keep it going is your 
first red flag that this is not where you're supposed to be. Page of Wands in reverse. It literally sucks the life out of you. And your enthusiasm, everything. You're trying to do something in your life and you have someone in the background that is just a gigantic buzzkill. King of Wands in reverse. First and foremost, you're doing this. You are you are attached to this situation in your flesh and not in your soul. Go back to the wounded child. Look at your mom and dad and see the connection between them and this situation. If it's a person, place, or thing, there is something that is ingrained in you from your early childhood that has brought you into this situation that is allowing you to circumvent your own well-being because you are getting something from this situation that you can't quite create yourself. And that's why these cards are saying reevaluation of everything so you can step into the path and the purpose. First and foremost, it's you. The Knight of Swords in reverse. This is your mind can't focus. You're not focused. You don't have your eyes on the prize. You're too focused on something that doesn't make a hill of beans in the end. To the Five of Wands. Filled with conflict all the time. To the Queen of Swords in reverse. And resentful because of it. Salty about it. Let me tell you what. This is on a different level. This King of Wands in reverse is the person, place, or thing that you are putting so much effort into. This person, place, or thing that you are putting so much effort into is egocentric and self-centered. They want what they want from the situation. And if you aren't meeting their needs, they are going to try to destroy whatever it is that is taking your attention away from them. And that's the God's honest truth. This person consumes your attention because it makes them feel good about themselves somehow. And if your attention is diverted in any way whatsoever, this person wreaks havoc in your life. Knight of Swords in reverse. This person will lie, cheat, and steal to get what they want. Five of Wands. This person is filled with an acidic internal narrative that creates nothing but conflict when they don't get what they want from you. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. End of the day, you come home and dinner's not ready. When they come home, they give you 10 kinds of shit because of your job. They want you at home, male or female. They want you at home anticipating their arrival. And if you're not there with the way that they like it to be, they're going to give you 10 kinds of shit about not loving them not appreciating them, not putting them in the position of honor that they deserve. Uh-huh, yeah. Ten kinds of shit. You got to go out of town on a business trip? This person is going to sabotage it to the very, very end. True. You need to go spend time with family or children or grandchildren? This person is going to throw a fit Pick a fight before you walk out the door and try to ruin your day as much as they possibly can because they want to consume you, Taurus. They want to consume you. To the Queen of Swords in the reverse. And again, this person will lie, cheat, and steal. This person is dishonest. They don't speak their truth. They, they, they wrap their truth up to turn it around and make it your fault. This person is angry deep inside of themselves because they can't create a sense of self-worth on their own. So they have to cr consume their sense of self-worth from you. And if you aren't 100% dedicated to their cause, they create a whole bunch of trouble for you. It's true. 
the world in reverse. And the cycle goes on and on and on, the cycle of the tower, on and on and on. Every time something isn't the way that they think it should be, it could be your boss. Every time something isn't the way they think it should be, all holy hell breaks loose. All holy hell breaks loose, either on a big scale or a little scale. Mm -hmm. Tower after tower after tower, and then you come in, sweep it up, clean up the mess, and continue pouring your energy into this situation with absolutely no return at all except for that wounded child. Why ever or however you have allowed yourself to be consumed by this situation is because your wounded child gets something from it. But what you're doing is offering your wounded child up on a plate for this person to continuously repeat whatever kind of issues you had with your mom, your dad, or your caretakers. Tower after tower, the moon struggling between what you know to be true and what you don't want to accept as the truth. What you know to be true is in the high priestess right here. You know exactly what I'm saying right now. This is not a surprise to anybody. You know what I'm saying. You know what the truth is in the moon card, but you simply don't want to accept it as your truth. And that's the hermit in reverse. You know what the truth is. The three of wands in reverse comes on top of this and talks about a lack of foresight not seeing the forest through the trees. Maybe the lack of foresight was you didn't know it was going to be like this when you got into it. But guess what, Taurus? You know it's like this now. And lingering because you made some kind of a promise or your religion has something to do with it or your family values have something to do with it is ludicrous. It's crazy talk. You don't sacrifice yourself so someone else can consume you for themselves. Job, relationship, family, bullshit. I call bullshit. To the seven of pentacles. Take a step back and look at how you're going about growing things in your life, Taurus. It's time for a new plan. A new plan. Six of swords in reverse. Because your mental baggage, back to the childhood, back to mom and dad, religion, the box, Taurus, the box has you believing somehow, some way that you, you, this is your duty. I don't fucking think so. I don't fucking think so. Knight of Pentacles. It's always been this way. There's the family cycles. There's the, the, the lineage. It's always been this way. My mama stayed with my daddy and he treated her like shit, but boy, she loved him and she was loyal. And my grandma stayed with my grandpa and my great grandma stayed with my great grandpa and so forth down the line. And they didn't, they didn't care how they got treated. You know why? Because they didn't have a choice back then because the age of Pisces is about the patriarchy and the sub, the suppression and oppression of women. Now is the onset of the age of Aquarius and the age of Aquarius is about spirituality and women are the core, the portal of spirituality. We will no longer be oppressed or suppressed. Same with the dudes though. Family psychage, family cycle, family lineage, right? My daddy treated my mama this way and my grandpa treated my grandma this way and my great grandpa treated my great grandma this way. It's the way it's always been in our family. The men, the men are catered to the men are the most important aspect of the family because they're the providers. And if their shit's not right at the end of the day, everybody has all kinds of hell to pay. Flip it around. Maybe this is a man that I'm talking about that is with a woman of some sort that is off the fucking hook, unhinged all the time, demanding every moment of your time calling you 50 times a day at work, asking you the stupidest questions that they could have very well figured out themselves. Someone is codependent on someone else, which in turn, with the cycle, makes them codependent on the other person. 
It's a it's a it's a cyclical tower over and over and over again in this situation. Maybe it's a micromanaging boss that's driving you freaking insane. Uh-huh. Maybe they don't leave you alone. You leave work at the end of the day and you go home and they're still calling you. Weekends they're calling you. Days off they're calling you. Stop participating in this. Ace of Cups. Emotional growth is what is required here. What's the emotional growth? Going back and figuring out how it is the strings of your life have led you to this situation. Mm -hmm. To the six of wands. The emotional growth of understanding why you would allow yourself to be in this situation in the first place is the catapult to your success in life. You have the six of wands three times in this reading. Mm -hmm. Sixes three times in this reading. Victory, progress, success, beautiful future, but you have to overcome the battle. What's the battle? Your own weakness. The box, Taurus, the box that you are living in, the boxed in mentality that you are not caring about. That's the problem. Ace of Swords. Aha! Freaking moment. I see it. I see the clarity. I see it. I understand it. The Nine of Wands. And I am going to fight against it. I'm going to fight against it. To the Eight of Wands. And I'm going to change the trajectory of my life. Because I have an aha moment about the round and round repeated cycle of the tower in my life. With this particular situation, and I guarantee you it's not the first time that this kind of situation has impeded on your success in life. It's a behavior pattern for you, Taurus, to death. It all needs to come to an end. Once and for all, that's the death in reverse that was somewhere right here. The internal purging is everything that I have just talked about. And the result of that internal purging is the aha moment, the oh hell no of the nine of wands. I'm going to change some things inside of me, which results in an external change by bringing it all to an end absolute ending of this whole shit show life cycle of the tower and the world in reverse over and over and over again. This particular Taurus, their issue is that they let people consume them because they find their value in being consumed. Take that to your shrink, Taurus. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is a waste of your fucking time. To the tower after tower after tower after tower. The eight of the ten of wands in reverse. Overwhelming burden. To the hangman. Take a step back and see what you're doing. See this. Just like the seven of pentacles. Take a step back and see what it is that you got going on here. Cut yourself loose from the tree that you've been hanging in since your childhood with a new perspective. What's that new perspective? The star in reverse. This is not your path. This is not your purpose. This is not how you are supposed to be living your life. This is not your destiny. This is not the way to victory, progress, and success. The universe is promising you a new beginning and a new journey. They're promising you an extremely successful turning point if you will have a new perspective and do something in a different way than you've always done it. Because the way that you're doing shit is not part of your destiny in this lifetime, in this journey, on this planet. Break out of the box. To the Six of Cups. Your childhood, family, nostalgia, memories, obligations, somehow, some way. This 
is the root, the string that goes through this whole thing that takes you back to your childhood. Figure out why. What kind of example were you given? What kind of emotional trauma did you have with your parents? What did you see? Did your mama do this? Did your daddy do this? Again, the lineage passed down from generation to generation to generation because that's just how we do things in this family. I call bullshit. Ace of Wands in reverse. It sucks the life out of you. Three of Pentacles in reverse, pandering for some kind of validation from some kind of egocentric, self-centered bully in your life. Queen of Wands, this is you focusing. Look to the devil in reverse, focusing. Queen of Wands, she knows her worth. She knows her worth. Eyes on the prize. She wants the success that universal order is promising her. She wants this. This is you, Taurus, stepping out of the whole situation, brushing yourself off and saying, oh, hell no. That's the Queen of Wands' favorite line. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. I don't think so. I don't think so. Devil in reverse. Releasing your limiting beliefs. Detaching from your own toxic pocket. Uh huh. Detaching from the toxicity of the situation. It started out with the devil in reverse and it's coming to a culmination with the devil in reverse. Unchain yourself from the foot of this situation. And look, we have the emperor in reverse and the empress in reverse. Out of control, out of control, out of control. The person, place or thing that you are dumping yourself into is unviable. Look, it's foolishness. It's foolishness. You are the Empress in reverse because this is the card of Taurus, Libra too, but we're talking Taurus here. The Empress in reverse is you because you're out of control of yourself. Why are you out of control of yourself? Because you are pandering to someone who is out of control of themselves. You are not controlling your internal self-narrative. You are not careful what it is that you're believing about yourself. You're absolutely not following your intuition, your higher self, your true north. And because of that, you can't grow the seeds of your life. The seeds of your life are a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, a turning point, outrageous success, and the Ten of Pentacles. That's what your future is but you're trading it, you're selling it, you're selling it off for some kind of codependency on someone that is hell-bent on consuming you for their own self-worth. And it is ridiculously foolish with the fool in reverse. It's not part of your path. It's not part of your purpose. What's foolish? The Prince of Cups and the Page of Cups continuing to give to this situation is absolutely foolish and it is and will be the repeated tower in your life. Mama, daddy, whatever your situ, whoever it is that is dictating to you who you should be in order to please them, that's a problem. To the high priestess in reverse and spirit says it too, it's a problem. You're ignoring your intuition. You're not seeing the forest through the trees. You don't understand. Well, you didn't when this reading started. Hopefully you do now. Bottom of the deck is the three of wands. Have some foresight. See the forest through the trees. Prince of wands in reverse. Four of pentacles in reverse. Two of swords in reverse. Stop being consumed by this situation. To the high priestess and listen to your guts. Listen to your higher self. You know, deep down inside, you know if this is hitting with you. You know. Two of Pentacles in reverse. But until you act on it, it's going to continue to be unbalanced. Your life will continue to be in the shitter. Your life will continue to be consumed by these people, person, place, and things. 
to the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a support system. I bet you any money you got people around you that would be absolutely thrilled when you leave this situation. Absolutely thrilled when you leave this situation. If it's a job that's driving you insane and consuming your whole existence, I bet you any money your spouse at home or friends, family, mama, daddy, they're going to be like, yeah, quit that job. Quit that job. I got you. I got your back. Quit that job. If it's a relationship, you got friends, family, a support group around you that's like, oh my God, thank God you finally quit that person. Thank God you finally filed for divorce. Thank God you finally quit that situation. We got you. We got your back. We got you. If it's friends, the other friends are going to be saying, oh, thank goodness you're not hanging out with them anymore because it was a shit show. Look, the tower. It was a constant shit show. Constant shit show. What this also tells me, look, I got the two cups in reverse on the floor right here. What this also tells me is that the second this situation feels you pulling away from it, energetically feels you pulling away from it, it's all about renewal, right? Renewal and the cycle starts again and love bombing and niceness and, oh, let's get counseling and let's, let's, let's do another go of it. It's the abuse cycle, whether it's a spouse, a partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, in-between friend, family member, Mom, dad, job, boss. It is the, it's the classic abuse cycle. The classic abuse cycle. The tower, the two of cups in reverse. When this person, place, or thing feels you pulling away, everything gets better for just a minute. Everything gets better for just a minute. And then Taurus has renewed hope because of that wounded child. And the whole thing starts over again, over and over and over again. Tell me one more card on this whole thing right here. One more, please. One more. <laughs> Two more. The Nine of Pentacles. St oh, look, three more. The Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and Justice are the end caps to this reading. Stand in your power. Know your worth. Work your shit out. Make a plan. It's in your best interest. Justice is always in your best interest. What's in your best interest? To take accountability for your life and your decisions. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel the urge to do a numerology card. We're going to do this real quick at the end here. A numerology card for this particular situation. Spirit, give me a closing comment, please. What is the mic drop? Look at that. Synchronicity, surrender, and intuition. What this tells me is that the second you understand what it is that needs to be fixed, there will be signs and synchronicities around you that are going to lead you in the direction that is going to free you from this situation. Absolutely. Surrender, right? Surrender to your intuition, your higher power, your true north. Surrender to it. Stop fighting against it and surrender to your higher self. And there will be signs and synchronicities all around you. Look, the two of wands that are going to lead you in the path of your future. Intuition to the four of water, four of cups. Contemplate, reevaluate, take the information that the hand of God is offering you. Follow your intuition, and it will always lead you in the direction of your very best and highest good. And look, surrender is clarified by the three of earth. This is the three of pentacles. Teamwork and collaboration. When you surrender to your belief system that there is something bigger, better, and stronger than you are that knows where you came from and where you're supposed to be going, 
That is teamwork and collaboration with universal order. That unleashes the ability for you to, for your life to be divinely orchestrated. Follow your intuition, the four of water, the four of cups, right? Contemplate, reevaluate the five of water, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. Come to terms with this and you will find signs and synchronicities all around you that are going to lead you not only to your future, but the ten of water. Not only to your future, but to a place of emotional peace. Emotional peace and emotional fulfillment. Surrender to your intuition and then follow the breadcrumbs that are dropped for you so you can understand how to get the turning point in your life, divine orchestration, new beginning, new journey, success, success, success. I hope that helps someone. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never ending. You have a purpose. This life experience has meaning and you are important. Your journey on this planet in this lifetime is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.